So the other day this guy comes in to pick up his bike after we fix it and uh, I don't know if this guy was, dr I wish I was rolling video, I don't know if he was drunk or what this guy was on, but he takes his bike outside first, rides it around, he's doing wheelies and uh, just flying around the parking lot and then he flies into this bike rack, goes over the handlebars, gets up, comes back in, pays for his bike and then when he leaves. He calls us back and leaves all these voicemails on how we messed up his bike. We laughed at him. The owner set his bike up, uh, set the brakes wrong, and uh, you gotta you gotta hear this. It's it's funny. Check it out. You're gonna enjoy it. Line one and line two. No new messages. All message played back. I guess I was trying to reach a bike shop down there in Shelter Cove right across from Tom and Joe's. I'm a customer of yours. And you don't seem to have a voicemail that describes who you are. I'll be calling you back on Monday because you tried to kill me with the way you set my bike up. Thank you very little. And I'm sure you have my call ID even though you don't leave a voicemail. And I'm going to be talking to the owner ASAP. was twice as tight as the front brake. <laughs> okay, I can't. Are you sure? <laughs> hey, the customer is always right. <laughs> this dude is a complete jackass. <laughs> they threw, he's been thrown out of Santa Fe. The kids have told me about his ass getting kicked at Tiki Hut earlier this year. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, he's just a complete, how the guy's alive, literally, I have no <laughs> idea. I've had a lot of people come here to your business and this is the way you do it. I'll be there Monday morning because obviously you don't have a number that can reach me. If you have caller ID, call me back because believe me, I don't appreciate somebody trying to kill me as a chill when I pay them 50 bucks. Good one. Is that hollow? Saturday, 7, 